thing is, you know, that's where it all started. It started with the protection of her and then, you know, in the direct, you know, um, of her children. Angelina Jolie's brother will always be there for her. Well, on the 90210 podcast earlier this week, James Haven made rare comments about his relationship with his sister and the six kids that she shares with her ex-husband, Brad Pitt. The conversation came up when co-host Jessica Etner referred to James as a protective brother. The thing is, you know, that's where it all started. It started with the protection of her and then, you know, in the direct, you know, um, of her children and my nieces and nephews. And so, you know, obviously, and they're those massively formative years. They're becoming their young adults, yeah. early 20s. That's so crazy thinking that, you know. Yeah. Um, but, um, but yeah, it, I think it's just very natural. And I just want to be there, you know, any anytime, very much like my mom, uh, anytime I'm blessed to be in their presence, I want to be in their presence. The Oscar winner shares 22-year-old son Maddox, 20-year-old son Pax, 18-year-old daughter Sahara, 17-year-old daughter Shiloh, and 15-year-old twins Knox and Vivian with Brad. The Eternal star filed for divorce from the actor in 2016 after two years of marriage and more than a decade together. In 2019, the former couple were legally declared single, but the two have yet to finalize their divorce. But no matter what his family is going through, James says he will always be ready to help. As I said, their formative years and, and the young adults and adults they're going to become, um, I wouldn't be there for them or for her, um, you know, whatever she she's going through. And we, and we have very mutual interests, like especially if it's like focuses on how to help kids or stuff like that. She'll say something, I'll bring in, I'll say, well, then the best thing we might do is this, or that'd be good, and then we can do this. And and so it's, and I know there's going to be many things in the future um, that we'll probably be working on, which, you know, we've yeah. never done publicly, but, you know, like, like together, you know, but like, I know there's many things I think in the future that we'll do together. As for his uncle duties, James says he learned one important quality from his and Angie's late mother. But back to that idea of her always being like, you are the focus. So a quality that I started many years ago, especially with the whole smartphones, was whenever I'm in the presence of people, I turn my phone off. And I mean, I really turn it off. Yeah. Like, it's like in my car, I have like a car play thing. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like, if I'm in my house, okay, it's on. If I'm in my car, okay, it's on. But if I'm at a dinner, a breakfast, a lunch, even a gala, now if it goes way over, there might be a break and you go, okay, let's just do a little something. But I'm just saying... I set my life up so I can be present mm -hmm. with whatever the situation is. Mm -hmm.